Welcome to this QuickBooks Online Inventory Adjustment video. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. I wanted to walk you through how to do an inventory adjustment in QuickBooks Online and uh, also wanted to go through uh, a report that you can pull up to count your inventory and how to save a customization to that report, okay? So in general, when you have inventory, you wanna do an inventory count um, at least annually so that you can have the right amount of units on hand. Um, a lot of people do it quarterly and some people even do it monthly depending on how much inventory they have. And if they have a lot of inventory, what they will do is what's called an inventory cycle count where maybe once a month or once a quarter, they will divide up the total inventory, let's say into you know four parts and then count one part per quarter and make the adjustment during the year, okay? So if they have, let's say, you know, 100 different items and they may break that up into 25, you know, four uh, sections of 25, and then the first quarter they'll count the first section of 25, the second quarter, the second section of 25, and that's what's called a cycle count so that by the time you get to the end of the year, you've gone through and counted all of your inventory. Okay, so it breaks it up a little bit uh, and, and so that you're not having to count the inventory all the time. Okay, all right, so the first thing we wanna do is if you go over to sales, you're gonna see in the sample company file, we've got the products and services list, all right? So this is pretty straightforward. I mean, these are all the products and services that you uh, invoice uh, your customers for, okay? And you can see some of them are services and some are inventory, okay? So what I tell people in QuickBooks Online is what you can do is go ahead and run a report on this, all right? And you'll see when you have this report, it brings up pretty much everything, okay? The inventory, service, et cetera, okay? Well, if you're doing an inventory count, you don't want all this service stuff cluttering up, you know, your report. Uh, so what you can do is go to customize, all right? And if we go to rows and columns, you can go in and add columns if you want to, okay? So what I do is, um, you know, I'll put in a quantity on PO and a last modified, all right? And that'll give me a little more information. But what I'll also do is go to the filter and I'm gonna click on product and service. And instead of clicking all, I'm going to just click my inventory items, okay? Because I don't need to see all of those individual service items when I'm doing an inventory count, okay? So if I run the report, okay? So now I'll see these are just my inventory items, all right? So I've got, you know, fountain pump and 25 on hand, etc. All right, so let me save this customization, okay? And we're gonna call this inventory count, okay? I don't uh, have a group set up, so we're not gonna save it to that, and I'm not necessarily sharing it with anyone, so let's go ahead and save, okay? So now we've got our custom report of inventory count. So now you can pull this up once a quarter, uh, once a month, once a year, whatever it is, all right? So now let's talk about, let's say you do your count and you realize that you don't have as many, uh, let's say pumps, fountain pumps on hand. You have 25 showing in QuickBooks and you actually have 22, okay? All right, so let's go back over here to sales and we're gonna go to products and services, okay? And you'll see here, right on the form or right on this list, you can uh, look at the quantity on hand and you can edit, okay? So you can do it here, or you can go up to uh, right here under the Quick Create menu, and you'll see an option here, Inventory Quantity Adjustment, okay? Either way is gonna get you to the same spot. Okay, so let's say this fountain pump, we wanna edit, okay? And you're gonna see here where the quantity on hand, you can adjust the quantity, okay? So if I click this, it's gonna take me to this Inventory Quantity Adjustment, all right, so quantity on hand, new quantity, change in quantity, okay? Or if I go up to the Quick Create menu and go to Inventory Quantity Adjustment, okay? And it's gonna take me to the same place, all right? So let's say that we want to, uh, we're, we're gonna you know, adjust the pumps, 
okay? You, you'll notice on the other one, it was pre-filled, so that could make it a little bit easier. But first of all, we have to choose the inventory adjustment account, okay? Now, in general, what I tell people is put it to cost of goods sold. Uh, because if, you know, for whatever reason, maybe something was broken or stolen or who knows, or maybe just miscounted, um, it's generally going to be run through cost of goods sold. Now, some people will create a sub account under cost of goods sold for inventory adjustments. Okay. This way they can see separately from their cost of goods sold, how much the inventory adjustments were. Okay. So in this case, we're going to choose cost of goods sold. Okay. Then we're going to say the product is the pump. Okay. So it says quantity on hand, 25 new quantity. Let's say that it's really 23. Okay. So we have a negative two adjustment. Okay. So what we're going to do is just hit save and close. Okay. So now you'll see on this report, now we have 23. All right. And that adjustment for that cost will go to cost of goods sold. Okay. And now we've got the correct amount. So now if we go to reports, okay, and let's see if I have my custom reports, inventory count, let's see if it'll pull this up here. And now we'll see that we have 23. Okay. And if I click on this 23, again, we can go in here, we can adjust the quantity. All right. Let me get rid of this. But that's how easy it is to make an adjustment in the quantity. And it can go either way. You could, if you had more than that, you could say I have 26 instead of 25. All right. So that'll do it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on the video below. Uh, would love if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. I sure would appreciate that. And I'd love to have you visit over at the QuickBooks University uh, where you know, members get so many benefits, not only complete training on how to use QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop, uh, but also personal support from me to answer your QuickBooks questions specific to your situation. So come on, check us out over there. we got a couple of free videos we'd love to give you. Uh, it's qbuniversity.org.